So now and again, we get some great music from the past that gets resurfaced into modern day. Whether it be a reissue, whether it be unreleased preservation going on, now and again we get some good things that we go, yeah, this is special. But I think what makes things extra special is when you have the context about the person and the artist behind the music and the scenarios of that surrounds almost that, that elusive state of the record that released in the past that may have been released in low quantities which has now been released into modern day. So the artist I'm talking about here is Carl Moore who's just recently reissued this release of two of his tracks on a brand new label called Sweet Free Association, a record label led by Sam Don. And the two tracks that Carl Moore has on this release is Carter Lake and It Must Be The Beat. So the two tracks is actually from a... EP released in 1984 with a title called Chance, which was released on Tanzia Records, a record label which was founded and created by Marlon McLean and Ray Parker Jr. But before we get too far into that, I want to give you like a bit more context around Carl Moore and the positions that he was in to be able to record this music, but also a little bit of background of like how he got to that particular point. So Carmore started playing music at a very young age and within the late 70s, he was able to join a band and one of the founder members of the band called Split Decision Band. So some of you might be aware of this group who's almost like have one of the Holy Grail records that released in that year of 1979 with the record called Watching Out. And quite a few years ago, the record label Athens of the North was able to reissue and re-release that record, Watching Out as well. But soon after the creation of Split Decision Band and going into walls like the early 80s, Carmore traveled to Japan and he began and started doing a lot of collaborations and working out there as a full-time musician. And one of the things that he did create in 1984 was that Chance EP. Carmore was able to record and do a lot of great things with multiple people whilst his time in Japan, doing live performances with his band, with people like Janet Jackson while they're on tour in Japan, but also been able to record with some great Japanese artists as well. And just to say here as well, I have recently also had the great pleasure of talking to Carl Moore himself and actually did a full extensive interview talking about his time in Japan and talking about the information and the insight behind this great release as well. So for me, Carl Moore is a good example of American musicians of that era in the 80s who were traveling to Japan and doing a lot of collaborations with Japanese artists and Japanese musicians. Because you have to think about that era within the 80s, that city pop era, when it was thriving, it was like massive. And you got great artists, let's say people like Mariko Tone, who ended up doing a lot of collaborations with US musicians around that time. So yeah, this record is great. Carter Lake is a great jazz funk jam with a really good instrumentation throughout. And just to say that like, Carl Moore plays the keys on that and he has his band on there doing the rest. And on the B side, it must be the beat. You've almost got a nice lead drum machine pattern there that creates this nice sound and distinctive ways that allows him to weave in and out with his vocals in between. And I have to say, what's been quite timely about this release is that it's actually bang on 40 years later since the original release of the EP, which is just like, <laughs> it's crazy to think that. It's just that 40 years ago, he released this record, released the EP, which was limited qualities, mind you. I think the original Chance EP was released at only 100 copies. So as you can imagine, most of those copies have disappeared off the face of the earth and only now a few remain in the world. And luckily, Sam Don was able to contact uh, Carl Moore and work with him and get this record put together. So not only is this almost like a good avenue or good celebration, let's say, of the release from the past being brought to modern day, but it's also a good example where music of the past is able to have that second chance and to reach new audiences of the music. It's one of the things where I do think to myself that it's getting to a point where, you know, I certainly don't take this for granted. Things like this is quite hard to do, mainly because most of the times people like curators, like Sam Don himself, 
we'll spend quite a bit of time to find and locate these artists and see if they're able to be happy to do this and work with them together on this or sometimes unfortunately they may come to dead ends and actually projects like this or records like this won't even appear in our hands mainly because the project couldn't be fulfilled when talking to Carl Moore he has so much knowledge and so much stories of the past is just incredible and I do feel like that podcast could have gone for another two three hours talking to him because he has so much to say and so much to share it's it's just incredible I give you a good example where he has stories where he talks about meeting like the basis of Rufus at the time as well and how talking to him put him in touch with other people and it's just it's just incredible really it really is so i want to give a big shout out to carl moore himself and thank you for the time and appreciation to sitting down with me for the podcast and once again big shout out to your record release and celebration on that it's a really great achievement overall and um I really hope more people discover it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below that links towards the records for you to check out and you can go to buy and bank camp. Also, big shout out to Sam Don. This wouldn't happen without you, my friend. So thank you very much there. All the best going forward for Sweet Free Association. It's only just the start. So I'm very looking forward to record number two to come out of your label. No pressure, no pressure. Carl Moore is one of the kindest souls and he deserves all the appreciation and dedication towards him. And that's why as well, I wanted to like make this video, especially for him. And just given that time and place he deserves, he's one of the best, man. One of the best people out there. And um, I know he's probably smiling or laughing right now as he's watching this video. But I just want to say, Carl, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, Recording with you with the podcast was an amazing experience and I will never forget that. And I'll definitely keep in touch with you and look forward to see what you're doing next. I know you've, you're a very active musician. You <laughs> you don't sleep. You're always working. So, yeah, we appreciate you. So Studio Funk featuring Carl Moore, the full podcast show, is available and it's out now. It's available on Spotify. It's available on Apple Podcasts. It's available on all podcast services across in the world. <laughs> and... It's also available on SoundCloud as well for all my SoundCloud heads out there. But also, most importantly, it is available here on the YouTube channel as well. So please be sure to check it out and have a great listen. There's a lot of things captured in there and I hope you find it useful. I hope it's a good listen as well. But as you would expect in Studio Funk Edition, those of you who are familiar with the podcast as well, the show is also filled with music. We've got samples of music taken from Carl Moore's discography as well, but also some nice selections to occupy that as well and surround the show as well overall. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you're new here to the channel, please check out the past videos as well. There's a lot of other things I've done in the past, but also, like I said, there's a lot more to come as well. Um, the the youtube journey for myself is only the beginning i'm just warming up you know and i look forward to what else to come but anyway stay tuned take care see you soon